Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Many of you have asked me what's new in Windows 7 with security. Has it improved from Windows Vista? There were a few annoyances relating to the user account control and the way these pop-ups appear when you run a program, for example. You know that program's okay to run. Why is it coming up with this annoying pop-up, for example? So you can change the way these pop-ups appear now in Windows 7 and it has improved. Just click on the change when these notifications appear option underneath the yes and the no here and it will take you to the UAC control center where you can uh, adjust the level of notifications that appear and it's actually much better than before uh, in Windows Vista things would get dim or uh, you would be notified when um, you were running programs and you knew that the program was fine so now you can adjust it for example if you lowered that level all the way down to the bottom then obviously it's not going to notify you it's never going to notify you when you run things or when other programs are running and executing so that one I wouldn't necessarily recommend unless you're testing a PC and you're not connected to the internet stuff like that so in my case I have that to never notify so that way I can do my testing and my benchmarks and not worry about things popping up uh, you can put it on one level up and that one's pretty good right there okay but the default is actually one higher than that it will prompt you when uh, you get these pop-ups but the screen won't dim it won't get dark so there you go see I can double click on it I didn't get a pop-up right on this program that I'm that I'm launching so that's one thing that's improved the way these pop-ups uh, are controlled the other one is the the bit locker so you can actually encrypt your drive so that no hackers can access your your hard drive information from outside right when you're connected to the network or the uh, internet so you can protect your entire hard drive it doesn't protect the section of it it's the entire drive it just encrypts the whole thing so that way only you locally from your PC can have full access to your your files right and no one else outside of that so that's a safe safety feature that I would recommend if you if you have sensitive information um, the other thing is the firewall lots of rules and advanced security other than the defaults of course there is the uh, the Windows Defender we have that still that's nothing new the firewall uh, options have been improved slightly so it does take care of all your firewall needs from a software point of view here but you can actually adjust those rules and go into the advanced settings in the firewall uh, uh, software that comes with Windows 7 and um, change those inbound or outbound rules right so for example here's a bunch of rules already set up to allow or deny and um, some of them are enabled some of them are disabled by default here if I just double click on on one of these then it would open up and show me the uh, the properties of it and then I can modify it uh, disable it customize the way that rule works to allow or deny certain programs from getting through right or protocols from running things like that because you might have a game uh, that you're running over the network or a program or something like that and it's being blocked accidentally maybe by the firewall so you can go in here and try to adjust things right to allow certain things to go through for example so uh, these are the security rules right that you can you can uh, adjust in here and that's pretty nice with uh, Windows 7 and that's really about it right you still have to get your own antivirus software for Windows 7 that's nothing new okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching